Okay then, so in this video we're going to be making some uh, brackets like this. Got one on this side, now I've just got to make one for the other side. So, let's get on with it. Right then, for the other bracket I just used these, what I saved. off this rack. It used to be attached to that rack. So let's make another bracket out of the remaining rack bracket. Right then, so I'm just going to cut this to size and the guesstimated measurement is cut the same off what I cut off the last one which was that much and it seemed to work out fine on that one so no reason it shouldn't work out fine on this one so I'm just going to cut it across there and use that part and you're going to stay there because you're not coming anywhere near the sparks Away, dicky bird. Okay then, so we're going to use this fixing bolt here. So let's remove it all the way. Put that somewhere safe on the seat. Then we can sort of guesstimate the shape we want. And looking at that, it wants to be wants to be bent that way. So let's stick it in the vise and hit it with the hammer. Now then, which way did I say? I think it wants to be about there. Just give it a few whacks. the bike again then that one's uh, bending this way so I'll put that in there Make sure it's fairly level give it a few whacks Take it back to the bike and have another look. Yes, sir, that one's bending even more. Let's go and test that. Try and straighten that one out a bit because it's a bit too bent. Put it in the vise and uh, crush it. Try that, go back to the bike, see what that looks like. Uh, that one's twisting now. One's twisting like that. Put that in there. that there, get some uh, adjustable spanner, stick it on there and twist it, make sure the bars is tight, there the bars ain't tight enough, come on twist your bike. Back to 
of the bike and try it. Cool, that's tight. There we are, so that looks about good. Hopefully you can see that. Looks pretty good. This plastic will just press up to that. Yes, very nice. So now we can mark it out where we want to drill this hole. Here yeah, we could put this bracket back on the bolt. Makes it a lot easier with that groove. small nut and bolt, line it up, put the nut on the back, lined up, tighten this one up. There we go. Around to the other side. Tighten the small one up. Don't have to get too mad. And tighten the bigger one up. And we're on there. How solid is that? Not that solid. But what I was thinking, don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's a little hole there. Obviously to do with the brake pipe junction box thing. So, so I'll bring some off there to the bottom of this. Now then, so we've got the brake calipers on and that just, just a little fixing bracket goes onto there so this is all good down the bottom still works over the mud cord it's just a little bracket fitting it on this side and uh, another bracket fitting to that side so that will just go up to there like that misses all that perfectly but I also want to get this on there as well I bet that sounds really stupid but let's see what happens when we do it right let's get cut in see what that looks like. Uh, yes, a bit more trimming I think. A bit more trimming. So let me trim a bit more off and then we'll go from there. Right, so we've got some more off. Uh, I don't know whether to cut some more off here because it does look pretty bad anyway. I don't know, it's a sort of cut around there and uh, get it on a bit further. I don't want it to be like that obviously because the wind's going to go on it down a bit. So yep, I was thinking of 
the back bit as well. Sort of looks okay, but I do like the fatter one. But, uh, I'm not sure at the moment, so leave it with me while I go and have a think. Okie dokie, so that's what I've come up with. I am going to get some of that uh, plastic padding stuff. What's it called? Uh, fiberglass filler. I'll try and bring this edge to there. That will be all filled in. So this is all going to be one piece. That's just on me with one bolt. So I've got to fix it with all the plastic padding. So it'll be one piece. But I am pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, I've got to put that back on, obviously. It does fit with all the brake lines. I've just taken it off to, so I could get the drill up there. I'll just screw this on down there. Be a bit higher like that, obviously, but <laughs> I'm well happy with that. Just don't have any, um, I have the uh, normal filler, body filler over there, but I want the uh, fiberglass filler. So I think that's as far as we can go on that, but I am happy with that the way that's going to look. So, what next? Okay then, let's see if we can do something with these side pieces. Uh, obviously, that is going to catch onto there. So we need to I'll probably follow that line with some tape to that line and just cut that lug off. And. Uh, I want to make these a lot shorter, maybe to about there. So, anyway, let me cut that piece off first and then we'll try and work out this piece. See if I just uh, use some of this tape to try and line these up that off down there Let's see how that's looking So, let's do it. That must be the same bee, it's back in my bloody shed again. And the doors are shut. Oh, bugger off. So we can neaten that up in a bit, but let's just go and try it on the bike. Can anybody tell me why these bees are attracted to my shed? I don't know if it's the same one, but he's been in about seven times. And the doors are short. It keeps coming in through the top. Push off! Right, let's see what this is going to look like. Gonna be there like that. Do the handlebars catch still? 
do just miss uh, probably I'm going to trim some of that off anyway but just touching so I'm happy with that um, now be with me while I work out what I'm going to do with this I think I'm going to keep that one the same can you see I think I'm going to keep that one the same and try and copy it with that one so bad but obviously it wants to be a, a lot shorter so be with me while I have a think and I'll be back in a bit right then <laughs> so I have butchered it to death but I think that's going to work just an idle wisp so as you know there's a big gap from the frame there into there and you can see all into the engine but I only want to see this part of the engine <clears throat> I've just got to shape that a bit more and uh, bearing in mind this is all going to be the same colour and I'm um, deeply thinking about these frame bits being bright yellow yes I'm pretty chuffed with that what I need is a heat gun instead of the blowtorch so I can heat that up and mould it back properly just wants to go back to there like that and I am going to have to put you know just just think of that piece this wants to be oh bloody bees back again this wants to be sort of plastic welded onto there all the way around So you've got a nice neat edge so yes I'm well happy with that all I've got to do now is copy that onto this one so bear with me while I do all that so that's it and as you can see it's gone back to winter so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one
I see you in another life, brother. <laughs>